Hi, I'm Steel Cliff, and today me and my kitten Adeline are going to go ahead and walk you through how to use the TubeAd Rocket software. Okay, we'll just start from the top and work our way down. On the Options tab, I'm sure that you've already seen this. That's how you got to this tutorial. More software is just more of my own software. More training is some additional training from Clive, and of course, you can always check for updates anytime you want. All right, let's look at the keywords. We have two options on these keywords, and it's sort of an either or type of thing. For example, if you just wanted to do a single keyword, well, you would just type it in here, paste it, whatever. It wouldn't matter if you put one in here or 10 or 20 if you just happen to have your own list of very specific keywords that you want to use just type them in paste them in whatever and run the program you're good to go on the other hand if you have a root keyword and you just want to uh, uh, let the software collect some some other relevant keywords for you just put it into the root keyword box click on the collect rate related keywords and there you go uh, and this is just a little pop-up sort of just letting you know that this is finished and um, you can edit add remove you know do anything that you want with the keywords to make them go ahead and fit your need like for me um, you know I certainly wouldn't be needing uh, lyrics and things like that right okay so that's it that's just gonna pre-populate all of it for you all right so let's go ahead and uh, look at this now now this is a delay timer now th this this is twofold right uh, how the software works for you is going to depend on your computer speed and your internet access speed all right so if you start getting some failures just you know not not getting the uh, the quality of results that you want well it could and most likely is that it the software's moving faster than what either your computer or your internet speed is allowing so this thing goes from zero seconds up to 17 seconds okay that you can put it and the delay is you know a delay in between each time it goes and processes a video now the more keywords that you have here the more you're gonna want to go ahead and put a delay in alright because if you just you know the Google YouTube they're all the same I mean if you just hit them too fast too many keywords too many searches well then it's it's gonna trigger a, a, a temporary band on your IP address or something like that so you can go ahead and and slow this down like if, for example if you had you know 200 keywords in here well you would certainly want to space those out to where it's not just rapid fire but now I've only got what is it nine in here I think uh, is what it is so I'm gonna go ahead and leave mine on zero now if you want to get results from um, you know a version of YouTube that's not not uh, local to you for example if you're in um, if you're in France and you want US results well you can go ahead and use a proxy right here you would it, it you would use a, a US proxy and there you go now you're gonna get US results or vice versa if I'm if I'm here in the US but I'm marketing um, in France well then I'm gonna go ahead and put a French proxy in here uh, and that's all there is to it and this uh, you would put the proxy in the port okay just how you normally get them and if you have a username and password you can put that in if you don't you don't have to right okay so let's go ahead and run the program now what's happened here is I've made it to where a pop-up comes and covers the screen and the only option to you is to stop the program this was, was sort of a safety feature because I, I had some users who were uh, uh, somewhat unexperienced and they they would click that run button 
and then continue to click it multiple times which uh, just really goofed things up so this was just an easy fix for me okay here's the information we're getting it's showing us that the number of keywords we have is nine the total of total videos that it found to check unique videos uh, is 138 and what it's doing is it's taking uh, all the results from the first page of YouTube for each keyword right and then it's removing any duplicates and it's showing you how many it's processed so far we've got 11 of 138 of them done the number of videos that it has found that it's monetized in other words that you are able to slap your own ad on those videos and uh, it's showing you what it's currently processing the video title and giving you some basic information here now I'm going to go ahead and pause this uh, so that we don't have to wait for it to go all the way through uh, and we can pick up the video from there okay so the software is about to finish up with us for us and there it is this close button it says completed and close button I kind of ran them into each other um, so that shows up right so just go ahead and this this gave you uh, just a visual of what was going on throughout the process so we'll go ahead and double click that to close it now we've got all of our results right here right now that leads us to uh, this actual table and what you can do with it you could uh, select some of these you know scroll through it find some that you didn't like that didn't fit in with what you needed uh, for whatever reason and just tell them tell it to go ahead and delete those and they're gone now if for some reason you want them back that's not a problem either now they're back in there okay um, you can for example we can you could go through and just pick several that you wanted for sure that you knew you want them for sure and click that display selected so that you could uh, you know really pay attention to these main ones that you wanted we're going to go ahead and undo that again or if you want to uh, sort you can do that but I'm going to tell you on this on the the sorting by the title views subscribers or publish date because some of them have the word views with them and and some of them don't uh, or it says you know you've got 2k here uh, 109 there 2 million here okay so it's really not going to uh, it's not going to sort out for you just perfectly but I mean it's powerful it's still very usable okay so now that you've got that and you've got it selected you can tell it all right well I want to save this data and so you would just put in a put in whatever name that you needed to you don't need to put a file type on it because it's gonna save a table so that's a CSV file so it's gonna save it as that then it's just telling you where it saved it to so now if we open that we're able to see all of the data okay everything across the board so we've got that but just say uh, you know you're already real comfortable running it you're smooth with it everything's all good and fine you can also just export the URLs right and we'll just say let's name this text okay we save that so now we can open that up and now we've just got our list of URLs and every one of these URLs every single one of them have ads on them so uh, you're able to just go in and, and uh, pick up these super targeted views absolutely completely related to whatever you're trying to promote and basically put your promotion right on top of them so yeah this is this is extremely powerful now um, there's there's already uh, with with the rest of this package that you bought there's full instructions on on how and what to do uh, this 
is just for the software this this little uh, tutorial here so there it is uh, it's it's really simple it's extremely extremely powerful and uh, me and Clive uh, we've been doing some uh, some crazy stuff just using this software so uh, I hope that you'll enjoy it